A document review has been going on for three weeks. Let's open the Review Workflows page to look at our review progress. The confirmed and reviewed percentages contained in the Review Summary panel are based off the responsive field, selected by our case manager as the target workflow for the All Documents universe. This gives us information on the overall review progress based on responsiveness. In this project, out of the 7,161 documents in the All Documents universe, 76% have completed first pass review. Out of the 5,457 universe documents that have completed first pass review, 33.42% have been confirmed responsive. The estimated progress percentage is derived from complete review of the estimation sample. The percentage of the sample coded responsive is multiplied over the entire universe giving us an estimated responsiveness goal of 2,035 documents. We are currently 89.63% to that goal, having located 1,824 of the expected documents. Now, let's open the predictive coding dashboard for the energy crisis workflow and see how that specific issue is progressing. The workflow progress chart quickly lets us know 453 documents have been confirmed relevant to the energy crisis issue and 5,457 documents have completed first pass review. Out of the 7,161 documents in the All Documents universe, metrics are displayed as percentages in the overview area. Reviewed reflects the percentage of documents that have completed first pass review out of the total documents in the universe. This metric is repeated from the Universe Review Summary panel and is not workflow specific. Confirmed reflects the percentage of documents coded relevant to the energy crisis issue as compared to the number of universe documents that have completed first pass review. Estimated progress reflects the percentage of the estimation sample coded relevant to the energy crisis issue multiplied over the entire universe. This gives us an estimated relevance goal of 533 documents for this issue. We are currently 84.99% to that goal, having located 453 of the expected documents. This workflow specific percentage cannot be derived until review of the estimation sample is complete. The estimated responsiveness goal for this issue is also depicted by the green bar in the estimated progress chart. If the green bar is not shown, the estimation sample has either not been linked to the issue workflow or the sample has not yet been fully reviewed. The estimated progress chart also displays the total number of documents confirmed relevant to the energy crisis issue over time, as represented by the burgundy line. The burgundy line is also known as the recall gain curve. As review progresses, we expect this line will trend higher and eventually end up within the green estimated responsiveness range. The Iteration Trends chart visualizes the suggested and confirmed document counts per iteration for the Energy Crisis Workflow. Hover over the bar for an iteration to see the number of suggested documents. The left side of the screen contains the same categorization details and results information seen while we clicked the training dot for the issue in the PC and training column after running predictive coding. Here we see the number of times predictive coding was run on the energy crisis workflow when the last iteration was run and the time it took to return results. The categorization results area provides estimated quality, precision, and recall metrics for the last iteration. Suggested for review is the number of documents suggested by the system for review. Estimated quality is the F2 measure calculated from precision and recall. Precision is the percentage of suggested documents that are relevant. Recall is the percentage of the relevant documents found. The iteration notes area allows notes to be added to iterations. Notes can be useful to explain changes in the recall gain curve. 
such as spikes that may occur when an iteration is generated after new data is loaded or when strategic analysis is conducted. To add a note, click the Add Note button, select the iteration from the drop-down menu, and type a note into the text box. Click the check mark to apply the note. Adding a note places an orange line on the estimated progress chart and the associated iteration turns orange on the iteration trends chart. The note displays when you hover your mouse on one of the orange lines. Overall, the progress for the energy crisis workflow isn't going so well because the reviewed percentage is high and the confirmed percentage is low, indicating a not so effective approach. At this time, we may want to address the underperforming issue by conducting additional strategic analysis to prioritize for review more potentially relevant documents.